education visa process for Thai course students currently in Thailand and outside of Thailand. Documents you will need. You are required to have 15 passport photographs that must be 2 inch by 2 inch or 3 by 4 centimeters. The student must be dressed neatly in the photo and have a white background. You must also have one set of passport copies with all pages with immigration stamps from every country on them. Furthermore, you may also be required to undergo a police criminal history check from certain countries. This is necessary for some nationalities and must be issued from your home country. Please check this with our friendly staff. Step one, requirements for getting documents ready. In order to apply for an education visa to study Thai language courses at We Learn Thai Chiang Mai, the student needs to have at least 12 months available and a sufficient amount of blank pages in their passport. Additionally, the student's tourist visa must have at least four to five weeks remaining from the date on the application documents. It is also imperative that the student must enroll in at least a six month Thai language course. Payment options. We Learn Thai Chiang Mai will accept overseas bank transfers, PayPal, Thai bank transfer, cash payments, and credit card payments. However, please note that a 3% fee will apply. Please note that We Learn Thai Chiang Mai will only process your application once the payment has been received and all of the documentation has been submitted. Step two, processing the paperwork. The paperwork from the Ministry of Education takes three to five weeks from the time that We Learn Thai Chiang Mai has received the documents and enrollment form from the student. Once We Learn Thai Chiang Mai has received the paperwork from the Ministry of Education, a staff member will be able to inform the student that they are able to come and pick up all of their documents needed to apply for a non-immigrant education visa at a Thai embassy or Thai consulate outside of the country. We Learn Thai Chiang Mai can send documents by post for the students outside of Thailand. However, postage fees will apply. Certain students of particular nationalities will need to return to their home country if they are not currently living there, so please check this with our friendly staff. Please also note that during the COVID-19 situation, we can arrange our students to apply for an education visa in Chiang Mai without having to leave Thailand. Step three, applying for your visa. Please check the working hours and government holidays of the embassy or consulate where you wish to apply for your education visa. This must be the same embassy or consulate that you have informed We Learn Thai Chiang Mai of when applying. It takes at least two working days to get a non-immigrant three-month education visa. It is the student's responsibility to get a tourist visa if it's required to visit that country. It is the student's responsibility to also pay for the visa application. This will be approximately 80 US dollars for single entry directly at the Thai embassy or consulate where you are applying. When you get your passport back from the embassy or consulate, please make sure to check that you have the correct visa before you leave. Step four in Thailand with an education visa. When the student returns to Thailand with a three month non-immigrant education visa, the immigration officer will stamp a maximum 90 day stay in their passport. You must check that it is for three months and that they have stamped your passport properly. During this 90 day stay, if the student wishes to leave Thailand, they must reapply for a re-entry permit. The student must also bring their passport to We Learn Thai Chiang Mai within seven days after entering the country with the education visa. Important things to note from immigration. TM30. This document is required to notify immigration of where you are staying in Thailand. Normally, it is filled out and reported by the owner of the condo or house that you're staying in. This must be done within 48 hours of moving in. If you need to go to someone other than the house owner, you will need a power of attorney form and a photocopy of the owner's national ID card. TM30 update. If you leave Thailand or stay in a hotel in Thailand, upon returning to your residential home, 
you must notify immigration within 48 hours of your return. To do this, take your passport and your TM30 form to the immigration office. Re-entry permit. If you wish to leave Thailand while using an education visa, you must apply for a re-entry permit before leaving Thailand or your education visa will be cancelled. This can be done at immigration at the airport or at the immigration office. We recommend going to the immigration office just in case any problems arise. You will need a TM8 form, a 4 by 6 centimeter color photo, photocopies of your passport, including the main page and latest entry stamp, and have a fee ready of 1,000 Thai baht. 90 day reporting. If you stay in Thailand for more than 90 days, you will have to report to immigration. This can be done in person at the immigration office or by registered mail. If you send your report by mail, it must be received seven days before your expiration date. Each time you leave Thailand, your 90-day expiration date will be reset from the day you return to Thailand. Things you need to do after you get your non-immigrant education visa. Number one, come to school as soon as you arrive in Thailand. If you apply for the visa in Chiang Mai, you need to enroll in a class 15 days after you have received the education visa or you can ask more information at the reception. Step 2. Bring the following documents to the We Learn Thai reception office as we need to complete the paperwork for your extension. We will need a copy of your TM30 or notification of residence from your home as your landlord must inform the immigration office that you are currently living on their property. We will also need a copy of your house registration from your landlord. If you don't have a copy of your house registration from your landlord, please ask more information at the We Learn Thai Chiang Mai office. We will also need six pictures at four by six centimeters and 10 pictures at three by four centimeters. Step three, every 90 days, you are required to validate your extension with the immigration office. There is a 1,900 baht fee for this procedure. The visa extension can be completed 45 days prior to the expiration date. Please note that we do provide a VIP service, which is a total of 3,500 baht, including the visa fee of 1,900 baht. Step four, every 90 days, you will need to complete the 90 day report at the immigration office However, please note that it's not the same as the extension. The 90-day report can be done 14 days before your visa runs out. The immigration office needs to know where you live. Step 5. Please understand that we are primarily a school and our focus is providing education. We are not a visa service office, but we do prepare all of the documents that the government needs for an education visa. If you have problems at the immigration office, please relax, don't panic, and check with our friendly staff. We may be able to assist you with certain immigration matters. Step six, if you need to leave the country, you will be required to go to the immigration office and complete a re-entry permit, as well as inform the school. The fee for this permit is 1,000 Thai baht. Step seven, Upon your return, you need to go to the immigration office to update your TM30. You need to also bring your updated one to us once it has been completed. Step 8. We are not an education visa factory. We strive to give our students the best education possible. Please consider this when enrolling in the education visa program through our school. Please be aware, any student who applies for an education visa with our school with no intention of attending classwork will not be supported outside of We Learn Tai Chiang Mai. Step 9. Our school has a dress code for both students and teachers alike. We require that you dress appropriately. Neat, casual attire is acceptable. Personal hygiene is also a requirement for the benefit of the teachers and other students. Please do not come to class if under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thank you for your understanding in this important area. Step 10. 
We require an 80% attendance rate for the classes in your program. If the student attends less than 80% of the class, the school has the right to not process your paperwork for your extension. If you have any problems concerning coming to class, please inform our office directly and fill out the makeup form and personal leave form. Step 11. If you are more than 15 minutes late, please wait until the break to enter the class. Step 12. For higher level questions about the class subject, please feel free to ask the teachers on break or after class so that others in the class are not distracted. Step 13. Sometimes during the classes, we might take some pictures. For your benefit and that of others, please try to cooperate and contribute with the activities provided by your teacher during your classes. Step 14. During our social and cultural activities, we provide three to nine hours of study that students can include on their attendance records. Getting to know the classes. There are 25 modules in total. One module is the equivalent of 30 hours of coursework. Your typical four week class is two hours a day, four days a week. There are three initial speaking based levels, including Speak Thai in four weeks level one, Speak Thai in four weeks level two, and Speak Thai in four weeks level three. Once you have surpassed these levels, you will move on to reading and writing level one, level two, and level three. Following this, you will then move on to pre-intermediate. Pre-intermediate consists of three modules. Please keep in mind that one module consists of 30 hours of coursework. You will then go on to lower intermediate, which consists of two modules. Then on to intermediate, which consists of four modules, and lastly, Upper Intermediate, which consists of two modules. For those more advanced, we offer a pre-advanced two-module course and advanced six-module course. From the pre-intermediate levels, the modules are not in order, so students can join any class that is open each month. There is a three-month program, which will take three modules or 90 hours, a six-month program, which will take six modules or 180 hours, or a one-year program, which will take 12 modules or 360 hours. Please note that we will need at least a minimum of four people and a maximum of 10 people per class. The office will be able to inform you of which class will be opened and any new class always open on the first Monday of every month. The students will have a small break in between each month. We will put the timetable on the receptionist board. Please inform the office about which class you would like to enroll in two weeks before the classes start. Please remember that we do require a minimum of four people and a maximum of 10 people per class. The pink house and the blue house. Due to the fact that We Learn Tai Chiang Mai has recently had an increasing number of students, we will be implementing a research project. This will be done as an effort to take care of and support the students while enhancing their skills and helping all students to learn. We hope the students will help each other with the many aspects of being a student here, such as studying the language, the immigration process, and daily life in general. We would like to inform you that the students who are on an education visa will be divided into two groups from now on. But if you are not on an education visa, you're more than welcome to join us. The groups will be called Ban, which means house in Thai language. The two houses are as follows. Ban Si Chong Pu, which is known as the pink house. And there's also Ban Si Fa, which is known as the blue house. Each group will be given a topic and some activities to do in preparation for our Loi Kratong and Academic Presentation Day. Topics and activities will be about Thai language and all aspects of Thai culture. On that day, the immigration officers and Chiang Mai Education Department officers will be our guests. We will need cooperation from all of you to make this exhibition possible and to make it a success. 
This is so that we will be able to be seen as a more credible educational institution. And this will then help for when you extend your visas in the future. By the end of the year, the house that has the most people participating will receive an award from the school. Furthermore, this exhibition will be held only once a year, and we look forward to all of you participating. If you need help with any documents from us or want to get the extension early, please feel free to contact our office. We provide the documents you may need, such as proof of enrollment to open a Thai bank account or a letter to the government office. If you could please email our friendly staff in advance, that would be really appreciated. For any further visa issues, please call our office at 0619-16855. Otherwise, you can email us at receptionist at welearnthai.ac.th.